Pluto, the perplexing bantam planet living at the external scopes of our planetary group, is working up fervor inside the galactic local area. Late reports indicate a potential experience with Neptune, raising worries among researchers and space fans alike. Famous specialists, including Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku, have sounded alarms about the possible results of this divine conflict. But how did Pluto end up on an impact course with its far-off neighbor, and what could this inestimable impact mean for us here on Earth? Let's investigate this unfurling event. Once thought of as an undeniable planet, Pluto was subsequently renamed a Bantam planet because of its extraordinary orbit. Notwithstanding this transformation, it continues to enrapture and engage space experts. Late expectations from noticeable researchers highlight a stressing proximity between Pluto's orbit and that of Neptune. These specialists warn against a likely crash between the two planets, which could pose a huge risk to Earth. Pluto's venture around the Sun is marked by its unique qualities within our nearby planetary group. Its orbit takes an extraordinary 248 years to complete, and since its discovery in 1930, Pluto has yet to finish a full revolution around the Sun adding to its interest is the highly elliptical shape of its orbit, a departure from the nearly circular orbits of the major planets. Furthermore, Pluto's orbit is tilted at 17 degrees to the ecliptic plane, making its path steeper compared to other planets. One outstanding aspect of Pluto's orbit is its intersection with Neptune's path. For about 20 years in each orbit, Pluto ventures closer to the Sun than Neptune, challenging expectations based on their respective positions in the nearby planetary group. So why hasn't a collision occurred between Pluto and Neptune? The explanation lies in the gravitational influences exerted by other planets. The assessment of Pluto's orbit began soon after its discovery, presenting a perplexing puzzle for astronomers. Unlike most planets, whose orbits lie relatively close to the ecliptic plane, Pluto's peculiar features include a steep inclination and elliptical shape. The mystery deepened with the realization that Pluto's orbit crosses that of Neptune. The stability of Pluto's orbit, amidst these complexities, serves as evidence of the intricacies inherent in space mechanics. The three-body problem in space involves understanding the movement and gravitational interactions among three celestial bodies, such as Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun. This problem explains the unpredictable interaction of their orbits and gravitational pulls. Terms like Asimov vibration, scope libration, and the VZK swaying contribute to unraveling this divine mystery. Astrophysicists attest that the South Libration, responsible for maintaining planets in their orbits, plays an essential role in the relationship between Pluto and Neptune. This term suggests that when Pluto crosses Neptune's orbit, it is positioned at least 90 degrees away from Neptune, vitally preventing potential crashes. Scope libration ensures that when Pluto approaches Neptune or other giant planets, it is arranged entirely above their orbital plane, providing an extra layer of protection against collisions. The VZK swaying explains why Pluto's orbit around the Sun appears strange but remains stable over time. Despite apparent irregularities in space, mathematical simulations in the late 1980s revealed that, despite its steady properties, Pluto's orbit is technically chaotic, with small initial deviations leading to massive differences over millions of years. Nevertheless, Pluto's unique orbit maintains stability over unimaginably long timescales, keeping disorder in check. Recent computer simulations have improved our understanding of how massive planets like Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn influence Pluto's path around the Sun, Neptune's unique relationship with Pluto. Completing three orbits for every two of Pluto essentially contributes to the stability of Pluto's orbit. Moreover, Jupiter's immense gravity has a significant impact, while Saturn's influence, though smaller, also plays a role. Through extensive tests, Researchers have shown that the combined effects of Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn ensure the protected and stable evolution of Pluto in space over billions of years. These peculiarities are crucial for maintaining the order and consistency of celestial movements in the universe. Without these mechanisms, the solar system would be prone to greater turmoil, unusual behavior, and potentially disastrous collisions or ejections from stable orbits, causing widespread effects on other celestial bodies. Understanding Pluto's orbit is especially vital amid discussions about a potential crash with Neptune in the future. 
This knowledge provides a clearer understanding of the dynamic nature of the planetary system. Pluto's case illustrates how seemingly unstable orbits can reach equilibrium through the intricate interplay of gravitational forces and orbital mechanics. Constant observation and analysis of these phenomena are essential for gaining a better grasp of our position in the universe. Investigating the depths of space often reveals the unpredictable nature of celestial bodies. Moreover, Pluto's orbit serves as a prime example of this eccentricity. The nature of orbital disorder distinctly highlights the delicate dependence of a celestial body's path on its initial conditions. As seen in Pluto's case, even slight variations in the dwarf planet's position or speed can significantly alter its long-term orbit. Programmatic simulations have been instrumental in helping researchers understand how Pluto moves in space. By making small changes in these recreations, space, experts can see how minor alterations can have a profound effect on Pluto's trajectory. In the late 1980s, these simulations uncovered an intriguing aspect of Pluto's path. Despite features like AML and scope libration contributing to its stability, Pluto's orbit can still exhibit irregularities. Even a minuscule initial difference in Pluto's position or speed can lead to substantial changes in its trajectory over many years. Despite this inherent chaos, Pluto's orbit remains stable for seemingly eternity, spanning billions of years. This suggests that beneath its apparently whimsical appearance, Pluto's journey around the Sun follows an organized order, anticipating vast events. Predicting the future paths of celestial bodies, especially those like Pluto that have unusual orbits, is extremely challenging. The inherent unpredictability of these systems makes long-term projections uncertain. Mathematical simulations help us understand and anticipate the future movements of celestial bodies, but they also reveal the limits of our predictive capabilities. These models heavily rely on accurate initial conditions and simulate complex interactions. Even a small error can lead to vastly different outcomes, making precise predictions difficult. The chaotic nature of celestial orbits, such as Pluto's, reminds us of the ever-changing universe. While we've made progress in understanding space, Pluto's case highlights our ongoing limited knowledge. Understanding the gravitational effects of massive planets on Pluto's orbit provides significant insights into the broader dynamics of the planetary system. It shows how each planet's presence and position can influence the stability and trajectory of other bodies in the system. Despite these intricate forces, prominent astrophysicists are expressing concerns about a possible collision between Pluto and Neptune. This raises questions about why such a collision, which seems unlikely given these complex dynamics, is now a subject of concern. Neil deGrasse Tyson, a well-known astrophysicist, offers an interesting perspective on the mysteries of our solar system, especially concerning Pluto. Tyson, famous for renaming Pluto as a dwarf planet rather than a full-fledged planet, shares insightful thoughts on how our understanding of celestial mechanics is constantly evolving. Tyson views Pluto's renaming not as a downgrade, but as a necessary adjustment to our growing knowledge of the various objects revolving around the sun. His approach to celestial mechanics involves continuous learning and adaptation. He sees the complexities of orbits like Pluto's as a sign of how much more there is to discover in space. Tyson believes that the allure of these questions makes space science so captivating. Moreover, Tyson is aware of how space-related events and discoveries shape public interest in astronomy. He thinks events like Pluto's renaming and its strange orbit are great opportunities to capture the public's imagination and interest in the universe. By examining the dynamic and sometimes irrational aspects of space mechanics, Tyson aims to foster a deeper understanding and appreciation of the universe. Neil deGrasse Tyson opens a window for the general public to marvel at the wonders and mysteries of the universe. Working alongside other researchers, Tyson actively alerts the public about the potential risks of Pluto's eccentric orbit. After extensive investigation of Pluto, he has raised concerns that the three-body problem could pose a real danger, suggesting that a collision with Neptune is long overdue. Furthermore, Tyson emphasizes how such an impact could disturb the balance of the universe and lead to devastating consequences reaching all the way to Earth. A collision between Pluto and Neptune would be a rare and catastrophic event in our nearby planetary group. This impact would release a colossal amount of energy, 
possibly destroying Pluto due to its smaller size and cold composition. Debris from the collision could scatter across the nearby planetary group, posing potential risks to other planets and their moons. For Neptune, such a collision could potentially alter its atmosphere and orbit, depending on the specific details of the impact. Michio Kaku, a renowned theoretical physicist known for his work in string theory and science communication, offers a unique perspective on this situation. His views on the future of space exploration and the relationship between celestial mechanics and theoretical physics provide deep insights into phenomena like Pluto's orbit. Kaku sees the study of Pluto and its orbit as a glimpse into the future of space exploration. Understanding the complex gravitational interactions and orbital dynamics of celestial bodies like Pluto, according to Kaku, can offer crucial insights for future space missions. This knowledge can assist in navigating the solar system more effectively, anticipating potential risks, and planning missions to the outer regions of our planetary system and beyond. Kaku stresses that the lessons learned from studying Pluto's orbit can be applied to exploring other celestial bodies, providing a roadmap for approaching and understanding distant worlds. In discussing the physics of planets, Kaku often highlights the deep connection between celestial mechanics and theoretical physics. He believes that the movements and interactions of planets, such as the gravitational dance between Pluto and Neptune, are not isolated events but are tied to fundamental principles of physics. Kaku's work in theoretical physics, particularly in string theory, seeks to unravel these principles at the most basic level. He proposes that studying the intricacies of celestial mechanics, like Pluto's orbit, can yield insights into the fundamental laws of the universe. Like Tyson, Kaku has also addressed the potential collision, relating it to his theories about the universe. If Pluto and Neptune were to collide, it would be a monumental event in astronomy, offering a unique observational opportunity that could contribute to our understanding of string theory. String theory, a theoretical framework replacing point-like particles with one-dimensional strings, attempts to describe the fundamental forces and matter in the universe. The collision of such magnitude in the nearby planetary group could create extreme conditions of energy and gravity offering insights into the behavior of fundamental particles and forces under extraordinary circumstances. A significant focus in string theory, moreover, the gravitational waves produced by the collision could provide valuable data for testing predictions of string theory related to gravity and spacetime. While the direct impact on Earth would be negligible due to our distance from the outer planetary group, the scientific implications of such an event could be immense potentially contributing to our understanding of the fundamental nature of the universe as described by string theory and other areas of theoretical physics. Pluto's orbit serves as a striking example of celestial mechanics, demonstrating both stability and chaos within our planetary system. The unique characteristics of its orbit, influenced by the gravitational forces of neighboring planets, especially Neptune, highlight the complex and dynamic nature of space. The universe holds countless mysteries, and the three-body problem is just one of them. There are other potential calamities that researchers expect. While the chances of planets colliding in space are very low, it is not entirely impossible. The way planets' orbits are affected by other factors, including gravitational interactions, is explained by the three-body problem. In some space systems, like TRAPPIST-1 with seven Earth-sized planets, the gravitational forces create a rhythmic pattern called orbital resonances. Over time, these patterns can make planetary paths less stable, potentially leading to collisions. Despite the packed nature of systems like TRAPPIST-1, collisions are not currently happening. Researchers closely monitor these systems to understand how planets affect each other's orbits, especially when they are close together. This knowledge helps us grasp the movement of planets in space. Rogue planets, planets drifting through space without orbiting a star, present an additional eccentric factor. These planets, once part of a star system, are ejected due to gravitational disturbances or other celestial events, such as the nearby passage of another star or dynamic instability in other systems. Over time, these wandering planets can cross vast distances, potentially reaching regions far from their origin. During their lone journey, there is a possibility they could encounter another star system. If one of these rogue planets enters another nearby planetary system, there is a slight chance of a collision with a planet in that system. However, 
Given the vast and predominantly empty nature of space, the probability of a rogue planet directly impacting another planet is extremely low. The immensity of interstellar distances and the scarcity of planets in open space act as barriers against frequent collisions. Moreover, rogue planets are relatively rare when compared to the number of stars and planets in stable orbits, making such encounters even more unlikely.